Okay guys, before we move on to routing, I just want to take a few minutes to talk more about this at injectable. All right, so first of all, what is it? Now injectable is a decorator. And why is this decorator used? Now injectable is a way to tell Angular that dependency injection is possible with the class. So here, I mean to say that dependency injection is possible with employee service class. And when should we use this injectable decorator? Now, when a class does not have any other decorator, but it has some dependencies, for example, HTTP, then in such a scenario, we need to use injectable decorator. So a class did not have any decorator, but it had a dependency. So in that case, use injectable. And how is this decorator injectable going to help Angular? So basically, Angular emits certain metadata only for classes that have a decorator. And this metadata is what tells Angular what type of an instance the injector must provide as a dependency to this particular class. So let me explain or elaborate more on that. Let's start with the employee list component. Now the employee list component has the add component decorator. So if I have a look at the JavaScript, now we see here that employee list component is equal to decorate and this decorate has this metadata. And in this metadata, it specifies employee service. So this lets Angular know that employee service is the instance or is the dependency that this component has and that Angular's injector must provide employee service instance to this particular class. And if I have a look at employee detail component JavaScript, it's the same. So employee detail component, we have decorate and in the decorate we have metadata and employee service as the instance that is required which is nothing but the dependency. Now let's have a look at employee service.ts. So over here, I'm gonna to go to the JavaScript file. And again, employee service, we have decorate, and decorate has metadata. And this metadata contains HTTP. So employee service needs an instance of HTTP, which is the dependency it has for its working. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove this injectable decorator and show you what the change in the JavaScript is. So I'm gonna save this and let's head over back to employee.js, employee-service.js. So now this got regenerated and if you have a look, we don't have the decorate keyword anymore and because of that, the metadata is not emitted. And if there is no metadata, there is no dependency or there is no HTTP mentioned here at all. So Angular's injector will not know what instance has to be provided to this particular class. So I'm gonna add back the injectable keyword. So let me save this and go back to JS file and let it regenerate. And now there you go, we have decorate. And when a class ha is decorated, it is going, to, Angular is going to emit some metadata and this metadata contain what instance the class requires. So basically, whenever you have a dependency, you need to make sure that it is decorated. The class has a decorator. Now, you might ask, does that mean I can decorate a class with something other than injectable? The answer is yes. You can attach any decorator you wish to. For example, we have the component decorator for employee details and employee list component, but we attach injectable only because it logically sounds right. Of course, I don't want a component decorator for employee service, but I need to attach some decorator. And injectable, you know, logically sounds right. I need to inject or this class can be injected with something. Now, for example, you say that a person is dependable meaning that you can depend on that person. Similarly, this class is injectable, meaning I can inject something into this class, such as HTTP. And in some of the articles that I've come across, people explain that you add injectable decorator 
when you need to inject this class in some other component for example this employee service has to be injected into employee detail and employee list but that is not true at all you decorate a class with injectable when something else has to be injected into this particular class so all right i hope i cleared some of the questions or queries you might have on the injectable decorator thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and follow me on github if you want to stay up to date with what i'm working on next and i'll see you guys in the next video